right uh, let's start by recapping what we had done in previous lectures so we studied the process of developing a mathematical model for a simple mechatronic system consisting of a rod attached to a permanent magnet dc motor recall that the equation we obtained for the as a description of this system was a second order ode which is this one and then we looked at processes for using matlab to solve generic first and second order odes and finally we use one such process to solve this, this second order ode and obtain the results the numerical results that we obtained if you can recall them were three vectors one vector containing this time stamp from the start time to the end time in increments of the time step that we specified the second vector was for values of theta or the angle in radians for each of those time stamps and the third vector was the were the values of theta dot or angular speed in radians per second at each of those time stamps now we have to ask the question as to why people spend a large amount of time on developing and solving these models from our discussion in lecture 1 we know that uh, this particular task of developing and solving models is done in order to predict the behavior of a system ascertain whether the system meets the required behavior and determine what modifications are needed if the requirements are not satisfied for our simple example as well let's see how we can use the model and the results to undertake such a task now in a system like this will probably seen in applications like binary pick and place devices i'll share a link of a video with you and uh, halfway through uh, through into the video you will see one such binary pick and place devices so the first thing we have to do is figure out what the required behavior is for such a system well there are multiple requirements when you look at the system holistically but the foremost requirement is that the rod should move against gravity when required and a secondary requirement would be the rod reaching a particular position within a given time i would objectively specify this as uh, for our case the rod reaching the vertical position within 0.2 seconds so keeping these two requirements in your mind we'll look at the model in order to certain whether these two requirements are met now i have obtained three plots each uh, for three different cases where i uh, but uh, in each of these cases the only thing that has differed is the magnitude of the mass of the rod and i did this in order to show that there are three types of expected behavior with regards uh, to the movement of the rod what i uh, that we can expect so what i have really plotted is the value of theta in the y axis and uh, the value of time in the x axis how i have plotted the uh, the angle of the rod with time now let's figure out what the three possible behaviors are if you focus your attention on the first case let's call it case a where the mass is 0.5 kg at the end of 0.2 seconds the rod has reached an angle of 85 degrees or for the simplicity of explanation let's consider it as 90 degrees right so it has reached the vertical position at the end of 0.2 seconds in case b 
at the end of 0.2 seconds sorry it should be 0.2 instead of 2 seconds that's visible in the plot at the end of 0.2 seconds the angle is 30.9 degrees so it started from 30 and after the time of 0.2 seconds it moved to 30.9 degrees so that's an extremely small increment in the angle and we'll call it as a bare movement and uh, yeah in the third possible case of the behavior that we can expect at the end of 0.2 seconds the angle has actually decreased to 28.8 uh, degrees in other words this uh, instead of increasing the angle has decreased and uh, the road has fallen instead of moving against gravity now if you go back to our foremost requirement which is that the rod should move against gravity when required this has been achieved in cases a and b but not in case c in case c the motor torque is insufficient to overcome the torque generated by the gravity right and for a second requirement which specifies the amount of time the the system has to achieve our target destination of vertical position only case A has achieved this target and uh, case B has failed so at the end of the day what uh, the insight that we really have gained is that if we were to operate a rod of 200 millimeter length fixed to a 775 motor uh, in such a manner and uh, make it reach a vertical position within time span of 0.2 seconds it should have a mass of 0.5 kilograms or less in a summary we had a motor we had the length of the length and we did a crude parametric study on finding the weight maximum weight which the road can have while satisfying our two requirements now emphasis on the word crude in the phrase crude parametric study so this is not how you actually do it even though i have varied uh, a single parameter by keeping the others constant right so what we have done is kind of a reverse motor sizing study a motor sizing study would be what we would have done if we did it the other way around where we keep the mass fixed the length fixed and we find the motor that is required to meet the specific requirement of moving this rod against gravity and achieving the vertical position within 0.2 seconds but i didn't do it because it would be quite difficult to do by using matlab alone so if the only type of motors that we are considering are permanent magnet brush dc motors then that would have been fine by varying the parameters or varying the constants a and b i would have been uh, able to obtain the corresponding torque versus rpm relationship and obtain uh, and uh, eventually obtain a plot for the behavior of the system but however if i were to consider brushless dc stepper or ac motors as well then that uh, wouldn't have been appropriate since in those kinds of motors torque versus rpm relationship is not exactly linear and we would have to have uh, more advanced or more complex expressions to express the torque versus rp relationship and we would have to re-derive the whole ordinary differential equation from scratch in order to include such different types of motors as well so there are uh, softwares provided by math 